It's Saturday the 25th of April 2020, so we're in the middle of the lockdown and the very strange times, although the, the weather's very nice outside, I have to say. But it gives us time to catch up on some things, and one of them is a video which we've been meaning to make for many months um, uh, about an electric cylinder player, a cylinder two and four minute cylinder player, we made about 18 months ago. We made a, a, a fun one a few months ago, but this was before then, and I always meant to uh, show it you, but I uh, never got round to it until now. And you can see that we've got uh, three of our favourite things, if you've watched any uh, of our other videos. Uh, here on the left, we've got a little Arduino uh, Nano on a mount board, so that it's easy to connect up, we can screw things in. A micro step driver, which can uh, give us lots and lots of uh, pulses per, per revolution in a NEMA 17 stepper motor. And these are all explained very fully uh, on the web and um, so we, we, we're just using these as building blocks uh, for our phonograph. Okay, here's the first um, mock-up. <clears throat> Rather chaotic, we've got a piece of chipboard, uh, a couple of um, bearing blocks, which we've used in previous projects, a uh, stepper motor there, and uh, another stepper motor behind this pickup, which is salvaged from an old uh, record deck, there's a computer power supply we were using, I see, originally, I didn't, I'd forgotten about that. And we've got down here two, um, two Arduinos, no, in fact, that's an Arduino um, Uno, isn't it? This is just very early days. Um, and the, 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 the easiest thing to, to do is to get one of these CNC computer uh, or, or 3D printer uh, screws, which I think are th three start or even four start. We could do with a single start actually, but it does work. And you can buy these pillow uh, blocks and uh, a, a long length of, of this and the rider uh, for n not, not very expensive. Um, so really, this was a very, very rough um, lush up. Um, okay, so what happened then? Well, it remained uh, rather chaotic for quite a long time, but uh, things are happening now. Um, we, we're running it on a 12 volt uh, lead acid battery, which is at the back. Uh, we've now got the two uh, micro step controllers, and I think it looks as though we're using two Arduino Unos there. Uh, we've moved the motor to drive the main shaft, and we've added a flywheel that happened to be um, lying around. I don't know whether it makes much difference, but it looks pretty cool, you know. Um, and so yeah, th this was all done over a period, quite a long period, but. Uh, we got there in uh, we got there in the end well we finally thought that we'd uh, got the layout right so we got a, some uh, two pieces 12 inch by 9 inch uh, plywood uh, sprayed it black and made a two stage thing using brass pillars here which we just happened to have lying around i couldn't make anything like that um, and so we we've got we've still got all the electrics over here which have got to lo be lost inside and so um, it was coming together now and here we are all the uh, top decks in place uh, all we need to do now is to put the, the gubbins underneath and there are very few wires the wires uh, from the uh, to the stepper motor um, is about all that has to come up from the bottom deck uh, onto the top and here you see the thing which is virtually finished and down here there are two Arduino Nanos the one at the back is for the mandrel, and that only just has to be uh, variable in speed, but it, it must be fixed, go up to 160 and stay there. Uh, and then a separate uh, nano for the feed screw, and of course that's got to go at two different speeds, depending on whether we're playing a two minute or a four minute cylinder. And um, I mean, I, I'm not very good at Arduino code, it nearly killed me brain trying to make something do two speeds at once. but. Uh, again, you know, it, it, it did sort of work. Uh, and then there's a little panel on the front, and we've got um, a diagram, which is uh, not very complicated. Okay, um, there's a little toggle switch for off and on, and we've got an LED to show us that we've got it switched on. Uh, another toggle switch is for two minute to four minute, and then this is a speed control, 
and um, to be honest, I couldn't make the, the motor run up to 160. Stepper motors will not start at high speeds from scratch. They have to have a bit of code that ramps up the speed. I couldn't find it. I couldn't make it work. So I put a pot in, and when you turn the pot um, fully on, it goes at 160 um, RPM. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we've got to, when we've, we've played a cylinder, we've got to get the arm back. So if you press that button, uh, the feed screw, you'll see it, it, it goes in reverse a lot faster and winds the arm back to the beginning. Well, we switch it on. After a second, the motors kick in and we can ramp it up. And uh, the feed screw is going along that way. This is doing 160 RPM. Um, and if we play it through a nearby amplifier, we shall wind it back to the beginning and let it uh, run in. This is just coming through loudspeakers, it's going to sound pretty ropey. Yeah, not that ropey, it's actually set to two minutes instead of four minutes. <laughs> Well, there you are, you see. It's just been one. It's just been one of those days, you know. But as I say, we'll we'll hear it properly later.
Um, and of course, and uh, so as you can tell, these towers were terribly important to Tolkien. Uh, as a child who lived here in Edgebuster, near that reservoir, you wouldn't believe it's only about a mile and a half from the centre of Birmingham, would you? But oh dear! Oh, the music's finished. Oh, oh, oh. Um, of course, we need to rewind it, so uh, that's easy peasy. Uh, switch it on and uh, lift the arm and press the button and it will go back. You can actually rest the arm. There's a bit of plastic at the back. And there you are. Rewind. Thanks for watching. Uh, take it easy in these uh, very strange times. Hope to meet up with you again soon. Thanks very much. Bye.